So today I'm going to be sharing about my self-care habits that I incorporate in my daily routine. Self-care is definitely a great way to recharge yourself, let you feel more refreshed and making it a daily habit is definitely going to amplify the effects even more. So for my first self-care habit is journaling. So I'm sure you've seen at the start of the vlog, I like to start my day journaling. I only started journaling this year, so it's been about five months. Um, it didn't change my life drastically, but it definitely helped me clear out my thoughts and organize them, especially during emotional and stressful days. Because if you're someone like me who tends to have a lot of self conversation with your brain and with your mind, especially on a busy day, writing them out in your journal, in points, in paragraphs, depending on yourself. And after finishing that, you go through what you have written and sort of filter it out. You might be able to find out the main concern and being able to find out the problem allows you to seek for a better solution and that's actually kind of effective. Well, for me, for journaling, there would definitely be days when you feel like you can fill up two to three pages because you're just filled with so much inspiration and ideas. But there would definitely be days when you feel like you don't want to write anything, you don't have anything to express, and that is totally fine. I experienced that as well. It's not an assignment, it doesn't have a few dates, so it's just you and your journal. It provides a lot of flexibility, so I would definitely recommend that. Next, for my second self-care habit is reading. Um, you don't have to be reading a book filled with thousands and thousands of words. It can be just a kid's tale or maybe an interior design book that is filled with inspirational pictures. As long as you enjoy the beautiful hard work that the author put into that book. Another thing I would like to say is that reading is not a race. Um, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I think that's most likely the case. I used to have this mindset where reading is a race because I read very slow and I always try to push myself to read and finish a book because my friends tend to be able to finish a thick book within a week but it takes me about two to three months or even six months or a year that long to finish one and I always push myself, force myself to finish it and I realized that what's the use if you don't get anything and you're just brushing it through and you're not enjoying if you are a slow reader it's fine to be one What's important is that you get insights, inspiration, ideas, and the knowledge from the book. And most importantly, enjoy it. And that's what matters. And for my last self-care habit that I'm sharing today is working out and practicing yoga or maybe a stretching routine. 
even though I am saying yoga, I can't do splits. Personally, I like to do yoga because I just enjoy the yoga videos that are available on YouTube because they just have this insanely comfortable background music and sounds and the voiceover is just so soothing. It kind of calms me down and lets me feel refreshed after finishing that yoga video and maybe you can try that out as well. It's definitely great. I do yoga mostly after my workouts or maybe on my rest days. It's very important to stretch out your muscles, give them a deep stretch after an intense workout. It lets you cool down as well and improves your posture. So working out, stretching is definitely a healthy habit that's really self-explanatory. So that's about it. These are my three self-care habits that I am sharing. Of course, there are certain self-care habits that are not done every day, such as um, taking yourself out on a date, go on a hike with friends, um, maybe a manicure, pedicure, or maybe treat yourself to an unhealthy meal from time to time. And like today, I'm going to be having food HEK, Korean army stew, because I am treating myself before exams. I'm currently a little bit stressed about it, kind of freaking out as well. So, wish me luck on that. Um, thanks for sticking around until here and listening. If you enjoy it, remember to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and we'll continue with the vlog. Imagination